Happy February, everybody. I have on my brand new, you guys haven't really seen it yet. It's like a little bit of sneak peek, reddish dress in honor of the month of love. <laughs> Valentine's Day is this February. One of our lovely Hallmark holidays. But you know what? It's nice to spend some time thinking about the people that you love. Um, I have a ton of plans this month, mostly because uh, January was kind of like a month where I spent a lot of time like organizing, um, setting myself up for having a very productive and successful February. But before I get into what I'm gonna be making this month, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Comment below, introduce yourself, join the fam. <laughs> and new or not, please subscribe if you're not already. You might think you're subscribed when you're really not. And like this video, it really helps YouTube understand uh, who likes to see this video and helps new people find it. It really helps me out a lot, costs you nothing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to be sewing. So every month this year, I'm going to give myself five things, five projects as a goal, um, mostly because that aligns really well with my sewing planner that I designed. Um, each month has five project planner sets in it. Um, so I thought that that would be a great way for me to kind of keep track. Um, as you know, in January, I only made two things. <laughs> so there's a little bit of like carryover from that in addition to some new things. I think that most everything is cut out. A lot of things are in various stages of sewing. So I feel like I'm really going to be able to be successful with that this month. All right, so in no particular order at all, just sort of how I have things laid out here, we're starting off with this little um, pajama pattern. I don't know why, but in February, I am always inspired to make pajamas. This is like the big four version of the Carolyn pajamas, um, but maybe even a little bit simpler. It's this Stitch and Save pattern from McCall's M6775. This is one of those oldie but goodie ones that I found in the drawer of my Joanne. If you, you know, poke around, um, don't look at the books, but if you just like go into the drawer, you might be able to find some older patterns. I have a couple of those this month that I'm working on. This one was um, printed or I guess released in 2013, but I mean, it's classic, right? And then I'm using this really cute, <laughs> this really cute um, cotton fabric that I got from Goodwill. This is a bed sheet. <laughs> and I'm giggling because as I was planning this project, as I'm cutting out the project, I mean, I have the whole thing cut out, shorts and a little top. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be so cute and wintry. And then like one day I just kind of like glanced over and this remnant fabric caught my eye and I was like you know what that looks a lot like a hospital gown <laughs> so I mean doesn't it don't you know the ones I'm talking about too like when you when you're in the hospital you know so <laughs> I might be regretting this choice but it'll be a great wearable muslin and maybe I'll get extra pampering from Dan if he sees me and subconsciously thinks that I am in distress and sick and not feeling well. Maybe he'll just be, you know, extra, extra sweet um, when I have my hospital pajamas on. I don't know. <laughs> if any of you are nurses or doctors or anything like that in the medical field, it does, right? You don't have to lie to me. It's fine. I'm aware. I'm aware. And you know what? I'm just going to lean into it. I'm just going to own up to it. It's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with hospital pajamas. They bring people lots of comfort and they will do the same for me. <laughs> okay, next up is the Ramona Shacket. This is an indie pattern from Petite Stitchery. So the reason why I came into this pattern and this make is because this pattern was sent as part of the indie stitch box in November. The fabric that she sent with this project. So the Indie Stitch Box, if you're not familiar, is like literally a box with a project, everything you need for it, down to the thread, a wound bobbin, um, needles, notions, fabric, and a pattern, literally everything you need to make whatever that pattern is. The fabric that she chose for the pattern, though, was a little bit too lightweight for the kind of shacket that I had in my mind. I was thinking much more of the jacket side of shacket than the shirt. 
And the fabric she sent is a little bit lightweight, so it's leaning more towards the shirt side instead of the jacket side. But I had found this amazing, I think, cotton flannel, another sheet, at Goodwill with this cute little box plaid, right? In this like neutral color. So you could really just like truly throw this on over just about anything and have that like really cool casual layered look. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about this pattern and the pattern company already that I am excited to share with you guys. Um, yeah, just a lot of thoughts coming to mind as I was even just cutting out the fabric, but I have all of this cut out. As you can tell, it's just a scrap fabric. Um, and I just need to get sewing, which I think would be pretty simple. I mean, it does have all the details of like a button down shirt, you know, it's got the collar and the collar stand and all of the facing pieces and lining pieces and interfacing and cuffs, it's got it all. So it is gonna be a little bit more of a time consuming sewing project, but that fabric is like super easy to work with. So I hope that like, it isn't as fiddly as it could be if I were using something a little bit more lightweight and drapey. Okay, next up, I have a fun little set that I'm working on. I'm sort of so obsessed with sets right now, whether it's loungewear sets, whether it's, you know, like a faux romper jumpsuit kind of thing. Just really loving the idea of making two items that you can wear together. They look like one or you can separate them. And that's sort of where my mind was with this. So these are two patterns that I also got. I'm pretty sure this one too. Yeah. From when I was just like going through the drawers at Joanne. I do that like, I don't know, once a year maybe. If you've never done it, do it during a sale. Grab, like you start at the top drawer and you're going to find lots of oldie but goodie patterns in there. Um, and then the next company that goes on sale do the same thing. And then you have this great collection of patterns that are going to stand the test of time style wise, because if they are still nice 10 years later, they're probably going to be nice 15 years later, 20 years later. So that's my little tip for the day. Um, okay. Vests are a thing like the nineties. Rachel green is like having a serious moment. I was even watching this movie with, um, what Dak Shepard's wife. Kristen Bell <coughs> and she was like this marketing or PR executive and she had the cutest little like vest over a white button down with like skirts or pants or something and I was like I've got to make the vest like right away so I have the vest I am using McCall 6228 do not judge that guy's hair <laughs> do not judge the pattern by that guy's hair it's cray I understand this pattern was released in 2010 and it looks very Susie Homemaker. I get it. I, I, I understand. Um, I'm hoping though, if I don't do like the little print mixing and I shortened it a little bit, that I can make it a little bit more modern. I also took, you can barely see the um, line drawings on the back, but I also took that shoulder in a bunch and made it a little bit more of like a racer back. I just feel like that's a little bit more feminine when the shoulder comes up a little bit. So I'm excited about that. Um, then I also out of the same fabric, I'm going to show you in a second, may or cut out Vogue 9209. Look at this cutie. I chose this because she's a little bit adjustable because it's a wrap um, and you have buttons and then it kind of wraps over and you attach the buttons. I can, in theory, adjust that depend, depending on where the buttons are. So I can put one set of buttons in one place, another set of buttons in another place, and then depending on what my weight is doing, how I'm feeling, how much I ate, whatever it is, I can let it out and back in again. That was the idea behind it. Um, so we'll see practically kind of how that works out, but I do think it's really cute, super flattering, how the buttons kind of go up at an angle is going to accentuate my hips, but it's also going to accentuate how narrow my waist is. So I'm hoping that that just kind of provides like a super flattering vibe. I'm also considering using fabric covered buttons, which would diminish that a little bit. You wouldn't notice them as much. Um, but also maybe I'll go get some of those like gold buttons and really kind of lean into like the nautical vibe of this. But the fabric is this like confetti wool. I got this from Goodwill. It is fabric yardage. There must be like some alteration shop or 
custom menswear situation near that Goodwill because every once in a while they will have like menswear or like suiting um, fabrics in there. And this is one of the ones that I found. So it has all these little speckly bits in it. And I'm just, you got to kind of envision it. I know it's a lot, but like you got to kind of imagine, you know, these two being worn together. Um, we'll see. It's, it's one of those things that's really kind of like pushing my creativity, which makes me feel like excited about it. If you can't tell, I'm like very talky about it. Um, but we'll see because who knows? Maybe I put them on together and I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? But either way, I'll have a cute little vest that I know I'm going to love wearing over like a myriad of things. Vests, I mean, they're everywhere. People are wearing them like interchangeably with all kinds of casual dress up, dress down, all of it. Um, and then the skirt, I'll have like a really kind of like, I haven't done a pencil skirt in a minute. So that'll be fun. All right. Next up, I went to the Vogue pattern sale this past weekend. Um, I've grabbed a few patterns. I'm going to be doing a pattern haul from the McCall's patterns I got. No, not McCall's. Simplicity patterns I got the week before that. The Vogue patterns I got this past week and the indie patterns that I bought in January. I kind of did a little bit of pattern shopping. Um, so I'm going to be doing like a whole haul video. But sneak peek, I did get Vogue 8166. Um, if you remember when I did the pattern, the first impression pattern review video on this, this was one of those things where I was like, I don't love making coats because they can get really overly complicated, but this one is really cute with the flared sleeve, simple, straightforward collar, not very difficult to work with, um, or difficult to sew. And it has a lot of style to it. And I love kind of how it's like flared, has the flared sleeve, fitted through here, but everything else, because it's just going to go over all the things, like whether it's a bulky pair of jeans or slacks or whatever it is, it'll go over it all. The fabric that I'm using, I actually had this put aside for a Mimi G jacket, but it just, it was never happening. So I said, you know what? I want to use this fabric for something else. This is from Mood. It is called, and believe it or not, I still have that little sticker on it, Italian Tricolor Plaid Wool blue and orange. There's an item number here. I don't know if it's still available. I'll look it up. If it is still available, I'll link it in the description box. I doubt it is because um, I got this so long ago, but you can see kind of the situation here. It is this kind of plaid um, with this like dominant white stripe. It also has like a burgundy stripe. And then this way it's like black or blue and orange. So it's fallish, winterish, and look how cute it looks. You know, it just kind of calls out this little maroon color that I'm wearing already. So it's definitely something that I would throw on over casual outfits, dress up outfits. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm not gonna be doing like trimming or anything like that. Um, I do need to go get the right size covered buttons because I wanna do this look, especially with the plaid. I think that would be so cool. Um, lining I probably already have. So like I'm well on my way um, for using this and kind of having it in my stash or having it being made out of stuff in my stash. If I have time, um, bonus points for me if I'm able to sew through some of my works in progress. Um, if I do that, I uh, will be documenting it on TikTok. You might have seen some of those videos here as those projects make their way into my Make It Monday pattern review videos. Um, but if you're on TikTok, be sure to follow me because that's where it's all happening like in real time and all of that kind of stuff. So works in progress. And then I really, really, really also want to try and sew something for the puppies every month. Um, I just need to like figure out the patterns, get, you know, not, now that they are like their size that they're most likely going to stay, um, I just need to get some tried and true patterns together and I should be able to whip them up really quickly. I mean, dog clothes are not complicated at all. And if you want to see what I made in January, if you happen to miss that video, I have linked it in the end slate here for you. So just click that video in the bottom right corner of your screen. It'll take you right there. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Be thinking about me while I'm working on these projects and I will see you all very soon. Bye.